Hello, Troy A, Shadowing Chronix, taking part once more in the Art Sound Off Challenge. Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize for missing yesterday's post and this one being as late as it is. It's going to end up in the future article spot. Just because the last couple of days I just got really tired and threw off the schedule. But that's something that I will talk about uh, next time. But you, what I like to talk about now is to ask a question to those of you in the comic creating community. Why did you choose comics? Here's the thing. With my website, I discuss all kinds of storytelling. I discuss books, TV shows, movies, novels, um, anything that takes cues from each video game, anything that tells a story. So there's a lot of different ways to tell a story. And when it comes to the media pecking order, one thing I've noticed is Comics are extremely low on that list. Like I think video games are starting to get a bit more, a bit higher tier because they're starting to get special actors on them. They're taking cues from movies because that's the top level, the theatrical movie. Everybody wants to make a theatrical movie. Heck, some people out there only make comics because theatrical movies have been being have been made from comics, and they figure if they get the story out there that way, they'll get the movie they really want. And, you know, look at the adaptations. Marvel used to be really good at adapting the, com the comics for movies, but then you have stuff like um, what they're doing right now with Black Panther. I'm not going to get into the dissection of that, but the fact what they do into the character Namor is, <clears throat> you know, shows how little they actually care about the original character. And it's just the name for that. Then you go into a look at some of the movies not based off MC off Marvel and DC. Um, I know this sounds like a, I'm going into critic mode, and I kind of am, but I'm going somewhere with this. Um, did you know that rec there was a recent movie with uh, Jennifer Lopez and Owen Wilson, was it? It was called Marry Me. Did you even know that was based on a comic? Well, don't worry about it. The movie, from what I can tell from the trailers, looks almost is almost nothing like the comic. Doesn't seem to have the charm, the comedic style, and the maybe it has the heart, but it doesn't have as so missing from what I liked about the comic. I didn't really see in that trailer because I don't know if you could pull that off in live action. Certainly not in what looks like a typical rom com movie <clears throat> or something you see on like Hallmark movies. <clears throat> you know, two unlikely people fall in love kind of thing. It worked better in the comic. It worked better in the comic because it was also humorous and funny. You really got to really like these people. I mean, Sarah Silverman might have been a good choice for Parker, but I didn't actually admit that. I'm not what you'd call a Sarah Silverman fan. But, um, I don't know. She just doesn't look like they're really playing those characters, at least not in the trailer. Maybe the movie's different. But did you even know there was a comic? There's so little interest in comics right now. Even when, you know, when you talk about The Boys or Black Panther or any of these other movies out there, how many of those people are going out to go read the comics? Yet you'll always be encouraged to go read the books based on the based on a movie. Books that are a movies adapted from. So I mean, really, those of us who've chosen to make comics, we're in kind of the low rung of the media pecking order. And to me, there is no difference. Every form of storytelling, movies, television, theater, whether you're using puppets, cartoons, whether you're using stop motion or marionettes or anything, every form, format has a different way to tell a story that's unique to that format. And what I love about, about comics and making comics is it's fun for me to take and do that, to make those kind of things uh, happen, to tell a story in a way that only comic books can. It's fun for me to write. It gives me uh, the most control over what I'm doing. And, you know, I could write a novel. But the problem is I'm terrible at describing things. I can, it's easier for me to draw it up than for me to, to explain the room that they're in. And did I do, okay, how come I, how did I lose my picture? 
I, I've lost picture. Why have I lost picture? I man. Okay, you can still hear me anyway. Um, oh, there we go. Make sure you guys are back. Don't know for how long. Um, well, okay, I'm winding up anyway. I do have some ideas that I think would work better as a novel than as a as a comic. But most of the stuff that I come up with, I think would be more fun to make in comic book form. And I might do the novel idea someday, but I really want to work on my craft and, need, and make better comics. And, and make comics that way. So, so I choose comics because it's more fun for me to make. And the way that I do that comics tell stories is just more fun for me to work on than trying to do a movie script and hoping that the actors and the director and anyone else does it even close to what I imagine it to be. I, so for comics, I like the control. I like that it's fun for me to do. I like it's easier for the way I tell a story to for it to work. And that's why I make comics. I'm kind of curious why other people out there make comics. So in the comments, or if you want to do your own art sound off, please. I'm tired of being alone in this. Um, it would be quite interesting. But um, I, th I think that's where we'll cut this one off. Let me get this uploaded. Uh, hopefully next week I can get out all five days like I want to. Um, and if you want to find out more about what art sound off is and if you'd like to take part yourself, head over to artsoundoff.com and. Give it a look. If you want to find out more about me and what I do, go to bwspotlight.com. And as for today's shout out, uh, I would like to point out to comic creator Becca Hilburn and Nata Soup. Uh, she makes comics through watercolor. She makes some very fun and uh, interesting comics that way. So, and she also does a lot of comic instruction. Um, she just did a online course type thing on mini comics that I need to find time to check out and she tests different art supplies to see how all well they work cheap ones expensive ones imported ones so if you're interested in the craft of making comics that's a good one to check out so um, like I said if you want to find out more about art sound off go to artsoundoff.com if you want to check out more of my stuff including the comics I make and the more in-depth commentaries and reviews that I do head over to bwspotlight.com so I'll see you next week where hopefully I'll keep on schedule and until then I wish you all happy creating